welcome back to my channel my name is Carmen Jaquay if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're a returning subscriber hey babe so today is Sunday January 21st I decided to just start a whole new vlog start fresh because I've been back and forth from like my camera running out of space and vlogging on my phone I honestly have just forgotten where I left off at so I was like you know what let's just start from the top let's start fresh open up a new blog i don't even really know what i have in store this week y'all um today we went to church service was amazing um our preacher is um teaching a series on faith and um giving and so i can honestly say that i am in a season where my faith is truly 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 being tested right now but i am praying i am fasting and i am believing and and staying standing strong on my faith that god will work things out in this two shall pass um so today we are going to cook dinner we are going to get some laundry folded i'm going to sit down with my planner i'm going to just kind of gather my thoughts and see what i need to get accomplished this week and kind of plan my week out um i have been trying for a solid like four days to get my video uploaded and I cannot get it to upload, um, but I'm just gonna cross my fingers, see what happens, and yeah, I'm gonna go in here, see if my husband needs any help cooking dinner. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be doing laundry. I just wanna come on, tell you guys, hey, welcome you to the vlog, and whenever I do something, I will pick up the camera and bring you guys along with more. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I have on. So I am in my skims, head to toe. Um, this is the, um, I think fits everybody robe. Y'all, it's so soft. It is so soft. I love this robe. I love the um, cozy robe too, but that one gets really, really hot. Like I get really, really warm in, in that one. Even when I have nothing on up under it, I get super hot. This one is lightweight. It is super, super soft. I don't remember the color of this one. I'll put it on the screen. And then I am wearing the boyfriend tee. I think... Uh, I wanted to say onyx but onyx is black this is not onyx it might be like ember and then I have on the fits everybody um like short I think it's the boxer shorts or something and then I have on the socks to match and then these bedroom slippers are from Target so yeah that is my loungewear um and then these glasses they are my blue light glasses because i've been sitting at my computer um i have my contact lenses in but they are from shein super cute so yeah um i wanted to show you guys that
Sound Production. Hey babe, so it is much later in the evening. You guys just finished watching a little montage of me kind of doing a little reset on this Sunday. I folded my laundry, um, well not my laundry, but the laundry. Um, I did some work in my office, working on some editing, and then I also sat down and kind of planned out my week a little bit um, for this upcoming week. So you didn't see this on camera, but I just got done eating dinner, giving my son a bath, cleaning my entire bathroom, picking out his clothes for the whole motherfucking week. Play with your mother, not me, okay? <laughs> I don't normally pick out his clothes for the week, but I just decided like, why not go ahead and pick the clothes out for the week and just make things a little easier on myself. I also got just got done packing his school book bag. So it has everything that he will need at daycare and it will stay at daycare and then I repack the book bag that I take when we go out and about. So right now I'm just getting ready to chill um, and relax. I'm going to work on editing my next video. I'm going to watch me a little bit of YouTube, drink some water because your girl needs to hydrate. I have not drank much water today at all. My daughter wants to make some homemade lemonade so we're going to give that a go, see how that goes. I guess it can't be too hard. Lemons, water, sugar. Um, but yeah, just wanted to come on, tell you guys good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, babes. So I just got home, and my cloth and paper package was on my doorstep. So I decided that I would do a little unboxing with you guys. So cloth and paper is like a luxury stationary brand is black owned and it's based out of Virginia. Um, I've been a subby for like two or three years um i really like the box i'm like a stationary freak and i've been that way since i was a little kid y'all it's like when i was little my mom we could be in the store and she'd be like go get me some bread and i would know exactly how to get to the bread but i would go the scenic route down the school supply aisle not because I was going to ask for nothing. I just wanted to see the school supplies. And I was like that in every store. It didn't matter where we went. We could go to Family Dollar. We can go to Dollar Tree, Walmart. I always wanted to go to the school supply aisle. So I've always been like a lover of stationery. Like sticky notes, notepads, pens. I love to write highlighters. It's just always been my thing. But cloth and paper, baby, is like the bougie stationary so they have a lot of nice neutral colors they have neutral color highlighters and pens they have like clear and white pens just you know the whole aesthetic vibe so you choose which planner size you would like for your planner sub box um i am in the um personal size so that fits my um let me grab it it fits my personal size planner which is a three ring planner so all of the items that they send me that are meant for inserts for the planner will have these already these holes already punched in them so they can fit in this size planner you can go onto the cloth and paper website where you can log into your account and change your planner size whenever you would like so i'm not gonna rumble too much we're just gonna go right in and see what we got this month so this is the january cloth and paper subscription box so this is what it looks like it comes in a black um box you open it up and these items used to be wrapped in like a tissue paper with just a cloth and paper sticker on it but they have now upgraded us to these canvas drawstring bags so now um the majority of your items are inside this bag so i have already like taken everything out of the packaging um just so that we can just kind of jump right in and i'm not having to spend too much time with a hope fumbling with a bunch of paper and packaging so the first item that came in the box um first we're gonna start with this it comes with a 
Oh, it's upside down. It comes with a card, what's inside. It has a description of the items that came in the card. Um, they do a really good job at explaining the intention for the use of every item in the box. So I love that because sometimes you can open your box, look at an item and not be quite sure what it is or what it is supposed to be used for. So the first item that came in the box is this ceramic sticky note holder and it has the cloth and paper logo on the bottom so we also got um some appointment sticky notes in this box this month um it includes an section for the date the time the location any follow-up notes and then a blank space on the left hand side for any additional notes that you may need to jot down from your appointment so this sticky note can be taken off of this card and placed right here in this sticky note holder next we got these um two dashboards so my planner size for my subscription box is the personal size so that is why it is already punched it's pre-punched to fit in my particular planner that i have designated for my items in my subscription box so one is this clear almost see-through like vellum material is what you call that and the other one is a cardstock this one has a quote on it i'm not gonna read it but as you can see super neutral super aesthetic and super cute the next item is the project management um insert so we always get a pack of inserts with every subscription box sometimes it might be um, like a calendar or like weekly uh, monthly inserts that you can use um, for your planner with the days of the week this month it came with this project management insert the next thing we got was some journaling cards we always get journaling cards in the subscription box these are super cute to put in your journal I'm gonna show you how I have used some that I received in the past so this is the personal size um planner that i have and yes i need to switch that out to a january card but these are journaling cards as you can see they're just kind of like decoration you can clip them onto different pages of different notebooks that you might have use them as bookmarks sit them up on your desk at, at work or your home office most of the time they are like motivational or inspirational quotes so they are good to just be able to glance at next we have the calendar cards now these cards are meant to fold and um, sit up on your desk like this i personally cut the bottom portion off and cut the back off and i use this um calendar on my calendar holder that i have on my desk that i received in a previous cloth and paper subscription box so we got one for february and one for march again nice aesthetic neutral colors love that so the next two items actually um coincide with each other so we got the progress tracker notepad i'm not gonna open this pack up but this is what comes inside it is the graph um stickers and then you got the pie chart stickers so you can use these stickers to fill in and track your progress on these little pie charts and on this graph that is all that came in our subscription box this month like i said i always get really nice items in the box and these items would cost way more if i were to go on the website and purchase them individually um so for me it is really worth purchasing the subscription box i always enjoy the items that i receive and like i said if it's something that doesn't really fit my lifestyle or my needs i can always easily repurpose them with no problem so yeah that is what came in my january subscription box from cloth and paper i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope that you saw something that you like comment down below if any of these items you feel like you could use or um you would have a use for today is tuesday february 2nd um i just got home from dropping my son off at daycare he hasn't been all week no 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 it's not tuesday it's thursday girl what it's thursday february 2nd my son hasn't been at daycare all week and he just went back today he was sick he was out with um uh 
uh which kind of thing ear infection fever congestion and runny nose but today baby today oh he was going to school today and we still gotta pay you going no but he's much better um but he cried because he's been home with me and he loves his mama and he loves being home with me so he cried this morning hopefully it won't last too long and he'll be all right but um i'm in here now getting ready to wash my bed linen let me show y'all what i got going on so i'm getting i'm in the process of taking my sheets off now about to wash my bed linen i have some items pulled here for a video that that i want to film um i'm starting to have second thoughts i just think it's a lot especially for my first try on video so i'm going to scale this down some and we're gonna start small okay because i'm not trying to be too overwhelmed um i'm gonna fix me some breakfast after i get this linen in the washing machine and i need to go get these taken off today um i need a fill in but it's time for a new full set um, but I don't think that I want to get a new set put on um, because baby expectancy I am expecting God to do something and I need to not have nails on for it for this thing that I'm expecting him to do in my life so we're going to act as if we are expecting and we know God gonna come through for your girl and we're gonna be prepared okay so we're gonna get these taken off today I have to I need to look at my esthetician schedule and see when can I get a wax I know she does evenings so I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that I can get in there this evening because your girl needs it bad bad um I think that's it film this video and I'm trying a new I'm gonna be filming in a new space so that's going to be interesting I hope I pray to God that my vision comes to life and what I'm thinking about for the setup I hope it it works and I'm able to execute so yeah that is pretty much what's on the agenda today nothing too crazy nothing too much I need to wash my hair but I'm not trying to take on too much in one day I still got tomorrow um because my son will be in school so yeah just one day at a time whenever you are feeling overwhelmed and you have a lot to do and you got a lot going on just remember one day at a time that's all we can do put one foot in front of the other one step at a time one day at a time all right y'all let me get this linen into the wash and then i'll see you guys when i eat my breakfast all right y'all so this is what i'm having for breakfast not breakfast breakfast turkey bacon this is my favorite kind this is the one from walmart the uncured turkey bacon grits and i'm not doing instant grits today yes i know how to make some type of grits and they be blessing and then this is some stewed apples that i made um homemade peeled them sliced them stewed them brown sugar cinnamon vanilla extract uh brown sugar i think that's it yeah and they good and i think i'm gonna do me a piece of toast and coffee anybody else still drink just regular coffee like i know the girls love the nepresso and i do too don't get me wrong but on a daily basis i just be wanting a regular regular cup of coffee um yeah i'm about to i think i'm about to unload this dishwasher too because my kitchen y'all i don't like this the all these cups sitting up here i cannot stand it this is my kitchen right now and most people would say like this is clean no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am i don't like that <laughs> my husband called me crazy but have y'all seen that um reel that was like um i like my house to look like to show no signs of life 
and I sent it to my husband and I was like, see babe, I knew I was normal. I knew it was other people out there in the world like me. I knew I wasn't crazy. No signs of life. I don't want it to look like don't nobody be here. Like, mm, no, I don't like that. So, yeah, I'm about to teach my breakfast. I'm about to put these dishes up, get this kitchen to my liking. And yeah, I'm gonna work on this setup too for the video today. Wish me luck. Alright y'all, so this is what it's looking like. This is what it's giving. I got my stewed apples, turkey bacon, and grits, and my regular regular cup of coffee. I'm getting ready to sit here and uh, read this book. This is a book um, that we are reading with our church for our small groups. It's a short read, so I'm trying to have it done by Monday before our meeting. So I'm gonna sit here and read that while I eat my breakfast. And then I have my planner here. Um, I'm gonna sit here and just kind of plan some things out and kind of take a look at my schedule, see um, what I need to get done and kind of take a sneak peek at next week so I can kind of get a little head start and a heads up on that. If you are wondering, this planner is from cloth and paper um i did the unboxing on this uh on my subscription box don't mind it neil Ugh. um did the unboxing for this subscription box um on my channel for my monthly subscription box that i received from them so i'll give you guys a little quick little sneak peek so this is what your monthly they call it the monthly view looks like um, so you have your full month on two different pages, important dates at the bottom, some notes over here, and then a blank margin, and then your month before calendar, and then the month after the current month. And then this is how the weekly layouts look. So you got Monday through Friday on the left hand side and then you got Saturday and Sunday on the right. You also have like a little checklist type section here. You have a blank line section here and a little small line section there. And then this is the current month and then it shows you the current week that you're on. Um, and then at the end of it or no, the beginning of every month, you have a notes page, you have a goals section, goals, you have intentions section, you have bill, a bill section with the date, category, the amount, and checklist, whether you paid it or not, and then you have this little checklist, running checklist here on the margin. Um, love, love, love the uh, cloth and paper in general. Um, I just got some little journal and cards that came with some sub boxes in the past. Um, 
clipped on here and then this is the cloth and paper ollie clip and i'm just using that to hold all those initial pages together so i can just flip right into the planner um so yeah that's what i'm about to sit here and do and i'll pick you guys up when i'm done i just got out the shower and my face feels dry as fuck. Y'all know when I do my makeup, I only do, um, I tone and I do sunscreen. So that's what I did, but it still feels super dry. So I'm gonna put some of this, uh, where the fuck is it at? Oh, Bobby Brown. And this is the Vitamin Enrich Face Base all-in-one primer and moisturizer so i'm gonna put some of these on my face just for a little extra moisture it'll have plenty of time to um absorb into my skin before i put my makeup on y'all what i only got a little bit of this left so i'm probably just gonna go ahead and finish this off um I just got out the shower. I'm about to watch a YouTube video because I need a little motivation to do my hair and makeup because I don't really feel like it. But if I watch my girl Tierra or no Tamara Renee, she gonna get me in the mood. She's so fabulous. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Put my lotion on and let me tell y'all something, baby. Y'all will hype some shit up. What? What is this? I, I, what? What is? What is this? It's not giving at all. I do not like this. I don't like it. I'm going to use it because I don't spend my money on it. But I will be mixing it with my Aveeno oil because by itself, baby, she's not it. But I'm about to put my lotion on. I'll talk to y'all um, later. I'm going to put my lotion on, do my hair and makeup, and get started with recording this video. Hey babes, so I just got done with my hair and makeup. I'm getting ready to go film. I'm trying to hurry up because time is getting away from me. It's already like two o'clock and I still need to get the setup and film. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. Good morning guys. It is the next day. It is Friday, February 3rd. Um, I did not come back on and talk to you guys yesterday because it was just a lot going on. I did get my nails taken off, so we back to nubs. We back to stubbies. Um, they're not done or polished or anything. So today I'm gonna like buff them and paint them this like little clear pink color that I really like on my natural nails. Um and they took forever at the nail salon y'all like it took all day and um i'm glad i didn't take y'all with me because very ghetto i only go to that first of all i don't like going to chinese nail salons that's number one my nail tech is a black girl um but for simple stuff like soak offs and like gel manicures or if I'm like last minute and I need to like get in and get something done, then I'll go to that nail salon. But otherwise, I go to my girl Shakayla. Um, and then when I left there, <clears throat> I got there. Let me tell you, I got there probably like uh, what time did I get there? Probably was like four forty-five and. Was it 4.45? I feel like he was a little earlier than that. 4.30. It was like 4.30 when I got there. And they didn't like start on me until a little after 5. Like, crazy. But anyway, I'm, I'm impatient, number one. But they only had three people working in there. And it was like before, after work hours on a weekday. So I just felt like it i didn't think it was gonna be like busy or nothing like that but anyway 
when I left there, I had to rush and go get my son from daycare. Then I had to go to Sam's and Walmart to get the items for dinner. I wanted to make ACP yesterday, so I went to two different stores. Then I came home. My daughter had not done her chore, which was unload the dishwasher so the dirty dishes could be put in the dishwasher so that I could start cooking without a sink full of dishes because I'm not doing that. And so I had to wait on that. Well, then I needed to film the intro to the video that I recorded yesterday while I had my makeup done and my hair was done and my ring light was downstairs. I was trying to record it, but my son was just being loud. So I had to take my ring light upstairs and my camera and remote, record that intro upstairs. I wanted the camera to be stationed somewhere and me sitting down, but that was not working out. So I had to hold it. Hopefully you won't be able to tell, but you might be able to, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> um, so yeah, it was just a lot going on yesterday. So that's why I did not pick the camera back up. So I'm fixing me some breakfast right now. I woke up, washed my face, brushed my teeth. Um, you can see your girl got some new frames. So these came in the mail yesterday. These are from Zewool. This is the style Charmaine. And it is this huge square plastic frame with this two-tone situation going on. It's black at the top and then tortoise shell at the bottom. And yes, I realize that they are huge, but I'm not sending them back. They so cheap and inexpensive. I will just wear them around the house wear them to work whatever i'm not sending them back they it's not that that deep to me um i'm going to be ordering some more because i have a coupon so i'm definitely going to be ordering more i have about nine pair on my wish list that i want to order i might just i need to do like a haul just order them all at once and do a haul but for breakfast i'm having some turkey bacon i'm about to make my grit so yeah just want to come on show you guys my new glasses tell you guys why i did not come back on here yesterday it was just a lot going on today i'm gonna tell you what i'm doing i have to put the clean linen on my bed i have to i probably would do some laundry I'm going to start editing a video that I filmed yesterday and I have a wax appointment later on so yeah I'll see you guys later good morning babes it is several days since I last talked to y'all today is Wednesday February 8th and I haven't talked to y'all in it's been several days I know at least, I know it's been at least three or four days since I left South y'all. I'm making some grits right now. And I don't have anything to do, y'all. Like, so I've been in the house and I'm like, who wants to watch me? Y'all don't even watch me now. I know y'all not gonna watch me in the house. I'm trying to get the camera right. So... I've been um, praying, trying to like just read my Bible and get myself um, in a better mood and to get my spirits up. I don't know if I see that much on the vlogs, but I keep saying in this season of my life, like God is sitting my ass down and he really is and you know i have faith in god and i believe in god and he definitely has pulled me out of some things before so it's not that i'm doubting that he won't do that this time for me as well but i'm human and so naturally i get anxious and i get depressed and i get worried and i'm like oh my god what am i gonna do god what do you want from me what are you trying to teach me? What are you trying to show me? What is the lesson here? I'm listening. Because I feel like I'm being punished. Let's just say 2023 has just been kicking my ass. Like, oh my God. It is. It's 2023 got 
her foot on my motherfucking neck. And she's not letting up. So, that's why I haven't picked up the camera. I haven't been doing shit. Like, at all. At all. Let me see if I can. I was trying to like multitask and put the dishes away at the same time. Um, while my water was going for the grits. That's why the dishwasher is open. And I'm watching a vlog. I'm watching I Am Chelsea Janae. I just, I made a lot of grits. It's a big load of grits. I just discovered her a couple of days ago and I like her. I like her. So I'm watching her. I've been so unmotivated because my hair is not done. I feel so like scruffy and like I just don't feel pretty. You know how they go when your hair not done. So like I don't want to put on no clothes. I don't want to record no like try ons. I really had a lot of fun doing that try on video. Don't know if y'all liked it because ain't nobody watching it. Ain't nobody commenting. Ain't nobody liking it. But I had a lot of fun doing that video and I want to do more of those. Because I'm naturally good at just like putting books together. But my hair is not good. So who want to put clothes on and be trying clothes on with this really is in my head? Like, I don't. I want a wig so bad. I want a wig so, so bad. All right, so my grits are done, y'all. They nice and creamy. Look at that. My grits are like perfect. It's the whisk, y'all. You gotta whisk them things. As soon as they hit that boiling water, start whisking, baby. You won't have no clumps, no lumps. And I like my grits like this consistency. I don't like them all thick, like they been sitting and getting cold. I don't like that. So I'm just gonna have me a cup of coffee, eat some grits. When I'm done eating, I'll probably finish putting these dishes away. My daughter has early release day today, so I have to go pick her up from her after school program today. So I wanted to pick up the camera and come and talk to y'all. But yeah, I'm about to drink this coffee, eat my grits, and then probably put the dishes away. I ain't doing nothing. Bye y'all. Hey babes, it has been several days, probably like a whole week at this point since I talked to you guys last. I have this dome cap on my head. I have some little Bow Wow braids up under here. I am getting ready to, da 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 y'all, I'm getting ready to um, color this wig jet black. This is a frontal wig. It has this like skunk patch in the front, blonde skunk patch. It's like a, almost like a deep brown. Yeah, it's a deep brown color. And then it has these like blonde tips, which I did not realize this wig had when I ordered it. I just thought it had the skunk patch in the front. I ain't know nothing about this situation back here. And I, ugh, I don't like that. Like I do not like this, it's ugly. And I like jet black hair anyway. Um, this skunk patch, I used to like it whenever I would wear it, like parted in the middle. But when I had it as a side part and the whole patch was on one side, it was giving very much like Remy Ma. I just wasn't feeling it. It just wasn't me. Um, so anyway, I'm about to dye this jet black. I just got back from the hair supply store. I've been watching my girl, Larasia. Sorry, the lighting. Larasia Andrea on YouTube. Um, so I got some dark and lovely hair color. I got two in radiant black and two in midnight blue. And I got the she raved about this Ebon Late Wonder Lace Bond Melting Spray. So I got some of that. And she also raved about the 
holding gel. So I got a little mini one of those. And I got this band to be able to like tie around my stocking and around my lace to like help with the milk. And then I got some acetone, but that's for something else. So I'm about to go ahead and get started. I got some gloves right here. I have um, a mixing bowl. So I'm gonna start at the back. I'm gonna work my way to the front. This is my first time ever doing any like color on a wig. I do like the bottle of rinse. That's the most I can do, child. I am not no hair person. I don't do hair. I don't pretend like you know how to do hair, but I really, really need this color. So I'm about to give it a shot. And if I fuck it up, at least it's not my real hair, right? I really don't need to be fucking this up though because this wig was like, I don't remember how much it was. So maybe like 200. So I don't need to fuck this shit up. I need this shit to come out right. So I'm about to go ahead and get started. I'm probably gonna play Larasia Andrea on YouTube while I'm doing it just to give me some confidence and some guidance and inspo. Um, and so I'll just probably like speed you guys up while I'm doing this and then I'll come back when I'm done and show you guys the final result. product this is how it turned out i am super pleased with the way that it looks i wanted it to look like really natural i opted for no baby hairs because i just wanted it to be like effortless natural i really wanted the middle part but for whatever reason on this unit i have a big ball spot right here in the center so i could not do a let me go in the bathroom I could not do a middle part like I really wanted to. Um, so yeah, this is what it's giving. I decided to just go with this. I guess if I wanted this part to be more defined, I should probably like pluck it, but I just think it looks like real, real natural the way that it is. And then I'll let y'all see so as you can see right here it looks kind of shiny right there it's hard right there because when i went in with the um melting spray 
and then tied it down it got on my hair so it made that hard but i had that to happen right here as well and all i did was go in with a little skinny red tail comb and like comb through it lift it up and um went in with the um hot comb so that's easily like fixable i can easily you know lift that up and comb that out if i need to but and there go that ball spot that i was telling y'all about so i couldn't do a metal part i don't know how in the hell i got a damn ball spot right there because i've only worn this unit once once that's it so i don't know how that happened um and when i wore it the last time i think uh, i had a i don't know i i thought i had a side part i think i had a side part because it was a skunk patch. This was originally a blonde skunk patch in the front and they had blonde tips on the bottom. So I dyed it all black. I straightened it. And I mean, I, I started to tweeze the, um, the, the frontal some, but then I kind of felt like it was already kind of like thinning, like, I don't know it already looked like it was plucked pretty good so i just decided to stop and not pluck anymore but yeah this is what it's giving and it looks really natural um like a natural just natural hairline since they don't have no baby hairs and then i have like the different variations of thickness kind of like a natural hairline is so I'm not sure I'm not. Oh, I'm so dance. So yeah, this is what it's giving. I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. It's amazing what you can do when you just put your mind to something. This was my very first time ever doing permanent color on a unit and installing a unit by myself. So I am shocked, honestly. I'm super surprised. Oh. I'm gonna show y'all the products that I use because this is not lace bond. Once to come on, I know I didn't show you guys a whole lot of the process, but that's because I was like trying to hurry up and get it done. It was my first time, so it's not like I was super quick with it. Um, this wig is large for my head, so I just sewed it down in the back so that I can ensure that it's flat and it's not gonna be like buckling and stuff like that. Um, for the color, I use dark and lovely. I use one box of radiant black and one box of B midnight blue. And I only needed one box each. I bought two boxes each, but I only needed one for this whole unit. And as you can see, it is, I think it's a 22 inch. I think it's a little past my boobs. And um, it was enough Two one box each was enough. So yeah, I think that was like all the products. Oh, and if you want to know, the girl I watched over and over and over, a thousand videos on her channel um, to kind of learn how to do this. Her name is Larasia Andrea, and I will put her name up on the screen so you can go and subscribe to her channel, check out her videos. She is all about like affordable um, wig installs, and she's all about um natural looking lace so i'll put her the name of her channel up on the screen talk to y'all later hey babes it is much later in the night i have gone ahead and wrapped my hair up i took a shower cleansed my face i did a mask i did the pharmacy honey mask because it's pretty quick it's like a 10 15 minute mask um i was gonna fold some laundry but i'm tired and i don't feel like it but before i go to bed i wanted to show you guys the kids um valentine's day baskets that i did and i am trying to be quiet because everybody is asleep and i'm not trying to wake nobody up so that's why i'm like whispering so these are what their baskets look like or 
Valentine they gifts, whatever. Everything is from Dollar Tree. Um, and this probably was like all less than about $35. So, um, I got my daughter this gnome. Super cute. It's brown. I love that. It says Happy Valentine's Day. Um, it's a 24 inch standing gnome. Yes, I did get it from Dollar Tree. It was $5. Um, I got her this little three stem rose, artificial rose. And then to go with the theme, I got her this cute little gnome Valentine's Day box. And on the inside, she got some sour candy. She got some hair ties. She loves to do different styles with her locks. Um, and this is 20 hair ties because she's always in mine. So I got her a pack of her own. Um, a pack of mini on the go Uno cards. She loves Uno. And then these are so cute. They are gnome valentine day socks i thought those were cute and of course they fit the theme and then i wrote her um a little note card so i wanted her to have hers before she goes to school in the morning so that she knows that she does have a valentine i'm going to always be her valentine and make her feel special and loved and then for my son i really don't want to give him his in the morning before school because i know he's going to probably cry because he's going to want to take this stuff with him but once he sees my daughters and doesn't see anything for him he's gonna cry anyway so i got this cute basket this is really a easter basket so i thought it was perfect to put all his valentine's day stuff in because it's boyish but then it can also double as his easter basket because easter is around the corner so he got this little football and everything was one a dollar 25 the basket was five dollars he got some bath finger paint soap he got a Paw Patrol magnetic activity kit. He loves Paw Patrol. He got some Paw Patrol. These are giant jumbo playing cards. But for my son, we'll probably just be like working on identifying the numbers and the letters on here and the different colors and stuff like that. Um, so we got a bubble play set. So it comes with all these different trinkets to play with bubbles and then of course a pack of bubbles and then I don't know how much he's gonna like this this is a bug catching kit so it has this plastic container for you to put the bugs in a knit some little plastic tweezers he usually doesn't really care for bugs so we'll see how that goes but that's all his stuff so i am going to watch some youtube and then i'm going to call it a night i am pretty tired from working on this wig pretty much all day long but like i said i wanted to fold laundry but i don't think that's going to happen i think i'm going to call it a night so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey babes. Um, don't know when I talked to y'all last. I think it was yesterday. Oh no, it was last night when I showed y'all the kids the Valentine's Day boxes. So they love their um boxes. I gave it to them this morning before they went to school. Um I have kind of like ripped and ran all day. I didn't even take y'all with, with me. How rude. But um, I'm home now. I just put some food on my stomach. Um, it's Valentine's Day. Tuesday, February 14th. Um, I want to like touch my makeup up so that I can take a picture. But I'm really not in the mood if I'm being honest. Like I'm not in the mood. But um, 
yeah i'm just gonna listen to some music vibe out touch my makeup up and try to push myself to take some type of photo for or like to get some type of reel or something for tiktok youtube short so yeah i will pick you guys up later all right y'all here is me all touched up makeup touched up i just went in over the highlight over the contour the blush um did my lip so yeah this is makeup touched up i'm gonna try to throw some out for a cute little valentine picture hey babes i am going to go ahead and close out this video i'm gonna close the vlog out i'm not doing nothing it's just dragging on i do not have a life right now i don't be having shit to do um so we're just gonna end it here you know why why drag it out let's just end it here um last night for valentine's day it was cool me and my husband just did a dinner for two at the house because you know when you have kids and it's a weekday um so yeah it was cool my husband cooked for me and i had me some wine and he bought me some um desserts from this place here that i really love it's called natabelle's her name is shanata and she makes a um sweet potato brownie that is to die for it is so good so she had heart shaped sweet potato brownies and then he also got me some um heart shaped turtle brownies um and yeah we just oh we had this couple's questions card game that we played so i'm like real close to the camera but um we played that and that was um that i like i liked it it had some really good questions in there it had some deep questions in there and it had some simple questions but just things that you don't ever think to ask your um spouse or significant other so that was cool um right now i am getting ready to i might as well just print it i was gonna go to the public library and print my resume but i might as well just do it i'm sitting right here at my computer my printer is right behind me i'm gonna just go ahead and print my resume i'm going to a job fair later on today and it said to bring your resume and i literally just updated the resume i just need to change the objective real quick but I've, I've recently updated it because um i am in search of a new job so i have been filling out job applications and submitting my resume for different positions and different uh, organizations so yeah that's what i'm doing now um i'm gonna return this library book i'm going to go by ups and price the return an uh, international return from this bullshit that i ordered um from this little boutique company whatever that i saw on facebook it was some bs like seriously the items look nothing like the picture they're so ugly and cheap looking they offer for me to keep them and then just get 40% off my next purchase. Baby, there won't be a next purchase. I'm not wearing a shit else from y'all. Y'all are fraud. This picture is not what you sent me. You used another company's picture to advertise the BS that you're selling. I will not be ordering anything else from you. I want my money back. Thank you. So I'm going to go return this stuff and yeah that is the day y'all um closing out this vlog because i ain't really got much to do i ain't got much going on but i'll see you guys in my next video bye babes